All right, so today we're gonna do some windshield repair with the cheapest possible windshield repair kit that you can get on Amazon. Just comes with a couple of uh, uh, tubes of resin, a, uh, a little thumbtack, some razor blades, and hopefully an, an English speaking um, windshield repair kit manual. Uh, in this case, this is my, uh, my daily driver. This is a, a 2016 Jeep Cherokee, um, uh, just a cheap Jeep Cherokee. Let me show you from the inside uh, what, what kind of damage we have on the windshield so you can see what we're trying to get accomplished. All right, so it's gonna be hard to keep this in focus because of the glass, but um, a couple of years back, um, we had the car parked outside a, a hotel and had a bit of a hailstorm. There was no hail damage on any of the paint, but somehow some chip, something hit right at the beginning, right at the top of the window here, and started a crack. It has since progressed. And uh, my wife has complained enough that I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do to replace this. Now, when you look at a windshield, there's, there's three panes of uh, material. There's a, a tempered glass on the outside, then there's a layer of plastic, and then tempered glass on the inside. When you get a chip or a, a, a break like that, it's on the outside, not the inside. Um, in this case, we don't have a chip like a, a road, um, like a rock hitting it. There's not a, a spider web. It's just a single crack coming down from the or from the from the edge. Uh, so unlike most uh, other other videos where they they have a, a suction and a cup and there's like. A, a little apparatus that you use to put pressure and to get the, the resin in. In this case, we're gonna just use a capillary effect and hope that the resin will seep down into that and get through the tempered glass on the outside and get to the plastic on the inside. Uh, this uh, resin is uh, UV uh, stabilized. So uh, we're gonna do this inside the garage and then once we get to the point where we need it to set, we're gonna pull the car back out and, and get it in the sun. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this and see how well this really inexpensive solution works. I mean, it'll work or it'll be crap. Regardless, I have cracked windshields, so I can't get any better, um, any worse. <laughs> so uh, let's get started on this. All right, step one on this is to get it clean. You can see this is a dirty window. We need to get it clean. If it was a rock impact, we'd also use this little thumbtack to, uh, to clean out the impact to make sure there was no rocks in there and that there was no glass that would protrude outside the plane of the finished surface. All right, so let's go ahead and spray this down and get it clean. Got a little bit of Windex left. All right, so a little bit more detailed inspection. You can see there's the initial point where the impact happened and it's spider webbed out to the edges and it has traveled down a bit, takes a little turn and then it stops. Here we go. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a razor blade and run it across the top and make sure that we have a good plane for the resin to sit in. And we're gonna start from this, uh, these uh, outside edges and just try to get the capillary effect to run the resin down in there. Jeez. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to that next step. paper towel with me in case it starts to go crazy. I'm gonna move the camera to the inside so you can see from the, the inside looking out um, how the capillary effect um, pulls the resin down into the crack. All right, let's see if I can do this in two hands.
does not appear to be going into the crack very much, although it is reducing. Not really too happy with the outcome. So these when you get the uh, the full blown system, it has a, a a vacuum on it, and it will it'll pull the the resin down into the crack. This doesn't appear to be doing quite so well at just leaching down into the crack. Let's see what happens though. Go ahead and go on to the next step. All right, so on this next step here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these, these little clear plastic sheets over the top of the area where we, where we put the resin, and that's going to, to hold the resin in place, and then we're gonna back the car out into the sun. I think maybe three of these should get me where I need to be. Don't want to let them overlap because then you'll get a groove. Because you can put them edge to edge. This should get me there. All right, so just taking it with a grain of salt. Uh, I can still see the crack in there. It hasn't completely disappeared. Um, but at the very least, it, we're hoping that enough resin will get down in there to keep it from cracking any further. And um, it might reduce it a little bit. I can still see the crack, though. Um, and, uh, well, we'll see when we get to the last step and we'll, we'll, we'll get a good uh, recording and do a before and after picture and see what it looks like. All right, so here, putting the car out in the sun. We'll give it a little time to cure, but even from here you can see that the, uh, the crack is still visible. So it's not gonna go to zero. It's not a uh, complete repair. But what do you want for eight bucks? <laughs> All right, let's just, uh, let's go through the process and uh, get a before and after picture. All right, so now you can see, you can see the glare on the sun there kind of a rough surface where the resin is. I've already taken the plastic sheets off and I'm going to start to shave it off with a razor blade. See if we can get this to get nice and smooth. It looks like the material comes off pretty easily. I think the point of origin was up here. Material comes off pretty easy. All right, let's clean it up and get an after shot. All right, so all cleaned up. We're back inside the garage. You see, here's the, the origin point. Not the best solution. Um, let's get a picture from the inside. 
Okay, so from the inside you can see it is definitely reduced. There's still a, a hairline uh, blemish that you can see in here. But uh, not to be one to give, give up on good enough, um, I am going to do a second application, but this time I'm going to throw my heat gun on it and see if we can take advantage of uh, the expansion and contraction of uh, some thermodynamics. If we heat the glass just a little bit, and then the um, when we apply the resin, that should um, you know cool it, and that would cause a, a vacuum, and maybe that might suck it down a little bit further in there. We'll just try another application. Uh, I mean, they gave me more resin. It's it's not a hundred percent, but it is improved. So even if you just follow the instructions, you'll you'll have an improvement. It's worth eight dollars, I suppose. And again, this crack is old. It's been in this uh, situation for, oh, six years. And I just finally got around to doing this. So anyway, uh, I'm going to throw a little heat gun on there and we'll see if we can do a second application with, uh, um, uh, with the heat gun. And uh, we'll go through the same process and see if we can reduce it a little bit more. So all said and done, I'd have to give this a C minus, maybe even less. It, it's still very visible from the inside of the car. It may have been a little bit diminished here and there uh, So there's a slight improvement, but uh, I Probably got my money's worth out of the eight dollar investment <laughs> that I purchased this uh, material with um, If you're if you want to buy this with the intention that you're gonna sell your car and, and with it not having a broken windshield I wouldn't buy it. It wouldn't do the job but if, uh, if you just have a little crack or something and you want to give it a go, hey, it's eight bucks. It's yours to spend. But um, it does not solve the problem uh, of a crack in the windshield. So there you go. That's your answer. Do it or don't. You're not going to get to 100%. Cheers.